we're going to focus in right now on the kind of Ringo Starr Beatles setup. If you notice, he's got these cloths taped to him. I think he got them at Kmart for like six bucks or not a lot. You've seen a lot of drummers put the cloths over the drums to get that like kind of, you know, Beatly Ringo Starr sound. But I think what they all miss about it is some guy may put a mic on it and be recording the top. So even though you see the cloth, don't pay attention to this mic. All their mics are on the bottom. So underneath the toms, I have a Audi Audio Technica 230. Underneath the floor tom is an Audio Technica 230. And underneath the snare is a, is a 414, and I have a brass capsule in it. Even though that sounds fancy, it's just I love that mic for the bottom of the snare. So I'm basically miking underneath the drums, and the overheads will capture the top of the drums. Whenever you do that, it's a general rule that these will be out of phase. So either on your preamp or your DAW on an EQ, you have to flip these out of phase to, to make it work. So you're basically making your toms into the biggest toms ever because you have this is the bottom and this is the top. And that's that whole Ringo Starr thudding sound, but you hear low end in it. And I think that's what makes this really cool. Later on, the Beatles started putting mics on the top, but I'm just really loving this sound because we not only did we record it, it kind of blew my mind that it actually sounded so cool. So I'm going to share that with you. Once again, mics are only on the bottom. They're not mic'd on the top of the floor tom and the snare. We have a kick mic going on and we got an overhead. And I did put this hi-hat, I put a hi-hat mic because he kind of plays it as he's drumming and I wanted to make sure I can capture that. The kick drum is a Bach, but it's my favorite kick drum, but it can be replaced with a a D112, a 57, anything you want really to put on the, the, the kick drum. Uh, in the room, I have some Altec 21Ds. They're, they're uh, 1950s mics, they're tube mics. They are crazy cool. And if you can't find them, don't be bummed. You can go buy Russian Octavas and they have a pack of them that have um, different capsules in it. You can get the one with Omni and they're really affordable, three, 400 bucks put the Omnis on the floor. They have extended low end. They sound really great. I'm only using those for the low end. So if you can get some Octavas, those will be fine. We're focusing on the idea and the technique, not recreating Ringo Starr's thing. So, you know, we're not bringing in a retro kit. We're not going to be snobby about, you have to use these type of symbols. This is a working man's drum set. This is his drum set he makes a living on. And we're going to mic it this way to get a cool sound that's going to be original for him. So um, let's go in there and um, he's going to play some beats and we're going to check that out. I have the Pro Tool session ready to go, but I'm focusing only on the bottoms of the mics of the toms, the bottom of the snare and the kick drum. And I just want a thick sounding drum set. It's going to be dark. It's going to be darker than me. So prepare yourself. So, you know, the reason I mic the hi-hat because he has that little, nice little top end on that. And with that microphone, I can bring that in. That's uh, the vibe of what I'm looking for. Like I said, we're not recreating something or trying to be like a Beatles song. We just wanted to take that style and make a cool song from it. And actually, it sounds close to me. Uh, there's a Peter Gabriel song called Intruder, and it sounds like that kind of thing. So... I've added some delays on the room mics. I'm just messing around with that, but that, I'm not committed to that. It's just for when I'm listening back. So uh, you can take those off if you want, not use them. I'm just having fun with it. And hopefully you, you got something from this style. Um, the only other plugin I have is on the drums are all bust to an API 2500. Settings are just very simple. I'm just adding a little bit of gain stage to it. The master bus has a Fairchild and it's just kind of working a little bit, not too much, making it sound fluffy and cool. 
I'll have a limiter just to kind of tuck everything. It's barely on. And then I have an EQ that I've just cut everything below 40 that's not necessary. Once again, this is all just in theory of, of how to be creative with the drums and um, hope you enjoyed that.